Hi, it's Kay of Kay's Creative Home. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a beehive wreath using the Dollar Tree uh, beehive wreath form. This plastic canvas you see here. I'm going to be using some rope and these three ribbons to my left, your right, and a whole lot of zip ties and some glue. So the first thing I'm doing is just tracing the beehive because I'm going to fill in this entire form with um, the canvas is going to be attached to the back and I'm doing it for each area and then I'm going to cut it out um, and attach it to the reform um, along the edges using some wire. So after tracing each part of the beehive I just cut out the shapes of the canvas there and then I'm going to lay them out and attach them. I use 26 gauge wire which you can find at the Dollar Tree. So after I got it attached you can see here it's already been I used just some kind of like a wide stitching of wire going around or you could use glue. I then took the rope and just went around the entire edge of the beehive and you can see I'm hot gluing it down and using clips to kind of hold it in place hold it securely until the glue has a chance to adhere. And I'm just going to work my way around this beehive doing that and then we'll be ready to move on to the next stage. So after I got the rope attached I decided to go around the back and the edges again with some more hot glue just to make sure everything was really secure because these reefs sit on the doors, you know, sometimes in hot sun. And I didn't want that, uh, you know, if it just be a little bit of glue and it just melt. Now, if you enjoy these type of reef videos, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to share with others. And don't forget, if you have any questions about what I'm doing here or in, or in any of my videos, please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer all of your questions. All right, we're ready to move on to our next step. So I have these three ribbons from Sam's Club. I love this combination. One has the actual bees on it and the other two has the like the comb, honeycomb part of the beehive. And then the um, I have some flowers which I thought would work well with a beehive since they um, take the nectar from flowers. So the first one I'm going to work with is the one which actually, actually has the bees on it. It is um, two and a half inches wide. And what I'm doing is adding a pipe cleaner. These are four inch pipe cleaners that I've cut down. I'm adding it every six inches. And what I'm going to do is just every, every about every half an inch to an inch on the beehive, I'm going to um, attach this everywhere there's a line. Those little like smiley lines going across the beehive starting at the top. I'm going to go through that canvas on both sides of that line and push the, the pipe cleaners through the canvas and then um, twist them in the back and secure them. So uh, you see I got the first one attached and then I moved over about a half inch and I'm going to insert the next um, pipe cleaner again straddling that um, crossbar of the reef form. And once I get it through the canvas holes, take it to the back and just twist it together and tuck the ends back toward the canvas. That way you don't um, have wire on the back of it scratching your door. So I'm going to just go across every little wire here. And what I'm hoping to achieve, I've got these pipe cleaners on here so that the B is kind of in the center. And what I would like to achieve is to actually have bees kind of like swarming throughout my beehive. So I'm placing them on these wire, I mean crossbars, so they'll be throughout the beehive. All right, I'm gonna finish all of these crossbars and then I will be right back for the next step. And so this is how my beehive is looking where I have the um, bee ribbon going across each of those crossbars. And now I'm doing the same thing with the 
um, I call it honeycomb. I'm not sure the correct name for it, but that ribbon and the flower ribbon and um, I'm doing them together again every six inches just putting on a pipe cleaner twisting it around a little bit and then in between the ribbon where the um, bees are I'm just going to fill in all of those white spaces with this yellow these two yellow ribbons for each section I kind of do a row across and then a row back across so it's like two rows in um, each of these filler sections in between the bees so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll be ready to move on to the next step so here you can see I have two rows of that ribbon kind of bubbled out between the um, two rows of the bees and now I'm just taking those two ribbons and separating them so that they fill out this entire section and again I just pull them apart and kind of make sure they're nice and bubbled out and not pressed down it was kind of difficult um, I'm not sure if I made these too close I think if I had made them any further apart you would see the canvas in the background but um, taking them apart was still a little difficult because my fingers seemed to be mashing them as I was pulling them apart so it was quite a challenge but I got it done and I even use my little spatula tool. You'll see me using that later on to just try to shape out the ribbon. Make sure it kept a nice little bubble form. So I'm going to finish doing that. And again, we'll be ready for the next step. So here we are, I filled in each area with my yellow ribbon, I fluffed them out and this tool I have in my hand, it's this little mini spatula like I got at Dollar Tree. Um, that's what I'm using to kind of just lift each ribbon and make sure it's bubbled out nice and full. And um, I kind of got the effect I wanted. It's a little busy, a little crowded, but I got the effect I wanted because this is supposed to be a beehive and a beehive has a a lot of intricate little parts in the center and so um, you can see my flowers you can see the little cone shapes and you can see the bees swarming through the hive let's get ready for the next step so the next thing the next thing I like to do is work on my bow so I started by cutting a 12 inch piece of the bee ribbon um, because I wanted to have the base of my bow to have that wide ribbon and then I'm going to do um, some loops with this flower ribbon and then on top of that I'm going to do some loops with the honeycomb uh, ribbon and then I'm going to add some more bees buzzing on the top the very top of my bow um, again, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with others. And if you're not a family member already, don't forget to hit that button and ring the bell so you'll be notified when new videos are released. Um, the next video I have for you, I attempted to do a um, the mermaid reef form to make a reef with that one. Um, I'm happy with how it came out. Not exactly how I thought it would come out, but I'm still happy with it. And I can't wait to share it with you. That will be coming soon. All right, let's get this bow made. So, of course, after I have all my uh, ribbon added, I take a zip tie, wrap it around the very center of my bow, and then I add a pipe cleaner in the back so that I'll have something to attach it to my wreath, and then just begin shaping my bow. So once I got my bow completed, I couldn't really find the perfect place to add it to the reef. So I decided to take some of this hemp cord and cut a 24 inch piece. Um, and I'm going to use that to add the bow at the top, let the hemp cord hang down and attach to the reef and um, hang it that way. So what I did was in the back of my bow where I have my zip, my, not my zip tie, my um, pipe cleaner. I just twisted that around the cord and I'm sorry again I'm off screen um, and then um, 
I'm going to attach the cord onto the back of the reef. So sorry, I didn't want to turn the reef over and match those loops because it took me so long to get them kind of poofed out. But um, all I did was tie the knot around this little bit of pipe cleaner, as you'll see I'm doing here. And then I'm going to take the pipe cleaner and insert it from the back up into that canvas again and twist it. But the, you know, the twisted end will end up underneath of the um, loops of the ribbon so you'll never see it. So that's how I attach the cords to the reef form. So I hope you've enjoyed this reef tutorial. I thank you for spending this time with me and I'll be talking with you again real soon.